Hey there! Get that walking carpet out of my way and today we will have a look at this cross. Uh, this is the Townsend model but this is a special Townsend model because this is the Cross Townsend Star Wars Chewbacca. I'm not going to do the raw. Now this is part of a series of fountain pens uh, that were launched in collaboration with Lucasfilm Licensing and they honor Star Wars characters. Some of these pens do that in my mind more successfully than others. Um, I have the Boba Fett pen because I've always loved Boba Fett and so I have that so that's like this you've probably seen it at some point or another. Um, this is Chewbacca and Chewbacca we all know it's our favorite Wookiee right? Um, I distinctly remember at some point uh, over a Christmas watching all the Star Wars movies with my dad, not, not in one day, but a span of a couple days. And at some point Chewbacca was particularly noisy and my mother shouting from the kitchen, is that that King Gorilla again? Um, and that, that is one of my favorite Chewbacca memories. Now having said that, we should talk about this pen. I will cover the parts of the pen uh, I will do a writing sample. I will tell you what I like and what I don't like about the pen. Let's get started. All right, here we go with the Cross Townsend Star Wars Chewbacca. Fascinating font that was chosen. Okay, we have the box. It is a fairly large box and there is all sorts of stuff in the box. Here, for example, is a tiny cross box and here is a larger cross box. Okay, let's start with the larger cross box and in there is Cross USA, History of the Brand, a booklet in a booklet. Then when we put that away, we have here the Star Wars, Cross Townsend Star Wars Collection Certificate of Authenticity number 145 of 1977. Here we have a Chewbacca uh, sort of card which which describes who Chewbacca is. If you don't know who Chewbacca is I assume you wouldn't buy this pen. Uh, here we have the little pen bed and underneath it is a little box. I'm assuming this is the um, suicide pill in case you don't... Oh no, no it's not. It's not a Secret Service thing. These are the cross cartridges uh, which are of course uh, well, not of course. You may not know that, but they are proprietary. They have this interesting shape. So it's nice that they put into. Uh, there is also underneath here this little thing. I have no clue what this is. Oh, well, um, yeah, so there is nothing in this. I don't know what was supposed to be in there. That may have been the converter, come to think of it. Okay, I didn't tear that, that was already there. <clears throat> Moving on. What was in the little box, you ask? In the little box is a cute little stand, which says Star Wars on one side, and on the other side, Cross, established 1846 USA, and then you can take your chewy pen, you can put it on there. Oh, I know. Okay, I'll put that away now. Let's have a look at the pen. I shall now zoom in so you can see it up, oh sorry, up close. There we go. Here is the pen right next to a Pilot Metropolitan. Of course the Chewy pen is taller. I mean it's Chewbacca. Now let's see what we have in this particular pen. We have some interesting choices. We have embedded in the finial a crystal. Why? We don't know. Swarovski smoked topaz crystal. Uh, it's brown and Chewbacca is brown so it, it clearly makes sense to have that there. Then we have the actual pen and I think you can see the texture here which is supposed to look of course like his shaggy fur. We have the clip, cross and here on the back we have a couple of things. We have the logo of the Rebel Alliance, we have Star Wars and we have this shape which is the shape of his bandolier more or less. Um, these are the things that are reminiscent of Chewbacca. We have two gold rings there, uh, we have a bit of gold there. The pen opens up by the cap sliding off and you can comfortably click it in place to post it and then it's a fairly tall pen. Uh, even unposted it's pretty long 
So I, I, I do like to post these and I typically find at some point they become a little top heavy and because it's it's really a thin pen as you can tell but it's also quite long I've had no issues with writing with this either posted or unposted we have the black section and then here we have a medium nib um, this nib is um, they, so I've, I've, I've read once that the, these Townsend nibs are made by Pelican and looking at the, the line pattern on it I wouldn't be surprised if these are indeed Pelican nibs. I've never actually truly fact checked that um, but I, it, it seems true and in this day and age that's enough. Right, um, so it says cross. Uh, it says 18K 750. Um, it has the AC cross logo on it, and it has M for medium. We have a plastic feed, uh, and then we have uh, the cross uh, converter, which I'm sure was in that little paper thing that I couldn't quite figure out what that paper thing was. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a bit we can do some writing with this pen. There's a hair stuck in it, sorry. Star Wars. Chewbacca, uh, 18K medium. And the ink is Mont Blanc. Toffee Brown, which I thought would be a nice um, match for the brown pen. Okay. It's a pleasant nib. Fast writing keeps up pretty well. Nice, fairly wet writer. And I almost feel it has an ever so slightly stub-like quality. Line variation, as always, very careful. There is some, but I wouldn't push it. Reverse writing becomes very thin, definitely goes from a medium to a fine, maybe even an extra fine. Also becomes a bit more scratchy and I think will tend to run dry. Okay, we need to discuss the pen, likes and dislikes. Let's get into that. What do I like, what do I not like about the Cross Townsend Star Wars Chewbacca. I think this is one of the more successful models in this series. The one I found least successful was Han Solo. When I think of Han Solo, I think of his pants, which had red or later yellow blocks on them, which by the way is a bit RCMP-like. Anyway, having said that, that to me is an iconic thing when I think of Han Solo and they chose to use Han Solo in carbonite so it's just a grey pen. Uh, I found that an odd choice but maybe that's just me. This is Chewbacca. I think this pen has some good things going. I do not believe it has quite the level of detail that my Boba Fett pen has which truly has a lot of details related to the character in the pen. Basically what you get is a brown pen which does have his fur, but you can only see that when you get up close. From farther away, it's just a brown pen. Um, it does have the bandolier thing that he has as a, as a bandolier. I mean, it has that. Um, and it has the, the Rebel Alliance logo, which is nice. But that's it, right? There is a Swarovski crystal 
But for Chewbacca and crystals, I don't really know how that makes sense unless he got into sort of alternative healing practices and he started to use crystals to channel energy. But I'm assuming he didn't. Um, I have a cross Peerless Darth Vader, which is a, a somewhat thicker pen. That has a red crystal in the cap, but that makes sense because it's red lightsaber. In this case, a, a, a crystal, I, I don't really know what it adds. There are things I would like to have seen. That's just me. But when I think of Chewbacca, I mean, the hair is captured. The bandolier is captured. It is iconic. But he has that bow caster with, with two scopes on it. It would have been really cool to me if there would have been two little scopes on the clip, for example. That would have been, I, I would have really enjoyed that. But they didn't. So this is what you have. You have a brown pen with something that looks like fur and a bandolier, which could also be an indication of like the new windows or something. Um, so, so in my mind, there wasn't that much in this pen that really relates to the character. Having said that, it is a good writer. It writes very nicely. And that is very, very nice. I do enjoy writing with the pen, even though I'm not necessarily a fan of, a fan of uh, slimmer pens. It is a comfortable pen and it writes very nicely. Word has it that these nibs for the Townsend models are made by Pelican. And looking at it, I, I could see that because it does look, it does have the kind of the grooves that a Pelican nib does. I wouldn't be surprised. Very comfortable nib. The biggest issue for me is the price. $575 for a cartridge converter filled pen. Granted, it, it does have a gold nib, um, but $575 is a lot. I find that a lot. And I had the same thing with Boba Fett pen. I just really love that character. And I think that's the trick, right? That's what they capitalized on with these pens. If you are in love with that one particular character, that might be worth it to you as a, as a thing. Then you have that, that character that, you, you know. But if you don't really care about that specific character, then almost 600 bucks is a lot, right? It's a lot. So that, I think, is the biggest challenge for these pens to overcome. Their price is very high. They were limited to 1977, obviously. Um, when you think about it, that's not that limited. If they were 77, that would be very, very limited. 1977 is almost 2,000 pens. It's, it's not that limited. So there too, I don't necessarily see um, this pen, the, the price really being warranted. Having said that, it's a fun pen. It's cute. It writes well. But this is really for collectors who love that character. Okay, there you have it. I hope this was useful. Kind thank you to Yost for lending me this pen. And um, that's all there's to it. Bye-bye.